of Kenya, Rigathi Gashagwa, alongside his wife, uh, Dorcas Gashagwa, are in attendance. At any moment from now, we shall be also seeing the president, uh, Dr. William Ruto, arriving at the plenary, and we continue apace with the second day of this summit. Rigathi Gashagwa has arrived, and of course, that is just a bellwether that the president is around the corner to be in attendance today. Denmark's all be interrupting and interrupting. <laughs> are, are you done? <laughs> yes, let, exactly. let me just come yeah. to uh, Tabitha as yeah. well. On that particular question, uh, I wanted to raise the issue because even previously, we've had uh, Riona to chime in on this, but it's yes, just yes. on the same, same note. Because yeah. even money that has been disbursed, we cannot also not raise accusatory fingers to the governments because we'll find these monies, they've been deliberately not spent by the counties. They're being banked to earn interest. And I remember also Kimani Shungo had come up with a bill to try and tame the government's appetite of the monies that are disbursed from, from, from the national treasury being cashed or being banked so that they may earn interest. And this goes directly to the benefits of the governors. Mm -hmm. uh, one, let me start by really uh, appreciating uh, Senator Wambua's uh, bill. And uh, as the vice chair, myself as the vice chair of finance and budget, I look forward uh, to that bill because uh, in our first discussions in this committee, these are issues that came about mm. in terms of the separation of these uh, uh, ministry roles. This is going to help us in terms of timely disbursement of the funds. Mm. Uh, but I still want to really appreciate National Treasury. You realize that they did very timely disbursement of the, fa of the, of the last uh, a batch for the financial year 2022 2023. Mm -hmm. uh, it was very timely. I'm happy also as a house, as a committee, uh, we, before we went on the first recess, uh, before we came back for the special sitting, we had uh, passed the cash disbursement uh, schedule, equitable cash disbursement schedule, uh, very much on time uh, for financial year 23-24. Mm -hmm. So you find that as a house, for us as Senate, we've been able to timely adhere to the timelines of uh, all the matters cash to the counties or funds to the counties. But uh, yes, there have been challenges at the, at the National Treasury, although we've, we've, we've seen in this last part that it was very timely. We hope and pray that that trend still goes on and continues on the same. But what is key note to point is that uh, one of the key pluses that we'll have is that uh, there'll be also timely delivery of the same services, timely delivery of the same quality products to the same different uh, counties for the Monainchi. It is one thing to uh, do funds allocation, as we've done, and it's another to ensure that uh, monies get to the counties on time. Right. If this does not happen, then that is where we get to points of what right. we call the penny bills to, I need to interrupt. We can see the president yeah. there, and I yeah. think now uh, we should be summing up because... Uh, uh, okay, uh, it's not actually the president. I thought he is. This oh, is okay. the Prime Cabinet <laughs> Secretary. <laughs> Uh, Musale Mudavari is uh, also in attendance. So, all right, top-notch government officials are coming in. Any moment from now, uh, the president will be there. So, yes. Yes, yes. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, um, I'm actually happy seeing uh, what we have in our country. It's just, it's just beautiful. <laughs> uh, but uh, just on, the, on, on that, we, also, we are also pushing, as also a finance committee, and saying there should be more increment of the own source revenue by the governors. Mm -hmm. We've seen, uh, like uh, my colleagues have talked about uh, the governor uh, for Gladys Wanga, uh, whereby she has been able to increase her revenue collection, which is something very positive. So we are also trying to discourage so much awaitance from the national government for grants also. Uh, in, instead of them focus, the governors should focus on own source revenue maximally. Uh, there's too much in terms of that dependence, which brings about so much uh, corruption issues and reluctancy because that is the money they're just waiting for. If this money is also go to the counties on time, we also ensure that there's timely uh, salary payments and wages uh, for the staff of the counties. They play a very key, key role. And if that if those payments come late, then this issue of corruption trickles in because someone is waiting for their, for their, for their money which does not come on time and there are other loopholes mm. of uh, getting finances which now start taking place. In the long run, uh, uh, when this bill comes to the to the house, we look at it uh, keenly uh, and be able to ensure that it 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 has the bigger goal 
uh, for the Monainchi as far as uh, that uh, timeliness is concerned. But I would also advocate that the bill should also have a clause that talks about the on source revenue. Mm -hmm. There should be a measure, there should be a, a, a capacity. The CRA can be able to help us and be able to see what, what percentage can be increased. The time we were having that discussion, and you realize that sometimes what the counties can be able to collect is even much more uh, uh, better than what they await from the national government. So there, 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 there needs to be an emphasis of on source revenue by the governors so that now they, they get from their comfort zones and ensure that they maximally ensure that they collect resources from local because that was the main whole mandate of also a devolved government as we celebrate uh, the, the, the 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 12th year of the revolution mm -hmm. 13 years sorry then this is what we should be seeing increasing as far as uh, the, their collections are, are thank concerned you. thank yeah. you thank you thank you senator okongo mugini uh, maybe your sentiments and then you know, we should you know, also be getting been, our headline uh, thoughts i've been looking at this picture and, and uh, asking myself why did we come up with devolution if this remains the only convention center this country has? <laughs> Can you imagine? <laughs> you know, because how I wish this was uh, in a convention center in Yamira. <laughs> <laughs> you know, as receiving these dignitaries. Because that's what devolution was meant to do. Devolution was meant to devolve uh, power, resources, facilities, and everything. You know, mm -hmm. this building was put up in the 60s, mm -hmm. you know. In the 60s, but there is all of us here, Makweni, Tanariba. Mm -hmm. There is no county that can say we have a convention center, we are going to host a big meeting of this magnitude. You know, it should be a wake up call to us that uh, we are yet to really see the true fruits of devolution. I mean, this, this is what you need to see that uh, you can have meetings when you go to the US, the states will. Uh, you know, all these big meetings move around many states. It is not just Washington that uh, hosts this meeting. Even if we go to Australia, the same thing. So we, we need to now decentralize these facilities back to, to the counties. As to the bill by Wambua, yeah, but uh, I think uh, that is, uh, before you even speak, I think you're raising something. <laughs> you should challenge uh, the, the, the county of Tana River, Kisumu. I think they're coming up with a convention center so that we can actually deploy all these conferences. Uh, earlier on, we saw Kisumu was hosting, um, the, was it the, the Habitat Summit, mm. right? Uh, many yeah, things, yeah. you know. Afro so, cities, Afro cities. Afro cities, cities yeah, the many. Afro cities. Yeah, yeah. yeah you, you can you know, come this, up with those innovative... Uh, this is the, the yeah. only way that you will really make Kenyans uh, now mm. feel devolution. You and know? You, you don't have to have a convention center which is concrete. You can put up a tent. It's just being innovative as you wait for the, <laughs> for the convention center to be there. Just have a and, good and, dorm. And not just, uh, yeah. not just a convention. You know, even uh, the proposal on uh, NHIF, when you're talking about uh, referral hospitals, the governor should be thinking about having serious referral hospitals with the specialists. When you talk about Nyamira referral hospital or Tana River mm. referral hospital, that should be a hospital that can deal with a complicated case. You know, you saw what happened in Canberra, where the doctors removed uh, some... Some worms, yeah. Some worms from somebody's brain. Yeah. You know, and they could track that somebody ate uh, grass, that worm went to the stomach, mm. moved to the lungs, spinal cord, and to the brain. I mean, I'm waiting for days when 